Hello and welcome once more to Red Game and Tech. My name is Amata. Today is the 9th of June, and this time I have some news for you regarding the Elder Scrolls Online on the PS4 and Xbox One, which of course launched just at midnight last night. And well, even though it's only just come out, it's already not a particularly smooth launch, as reports are coming in that people are struggling to log into the console versions. And if you head on over to either NeoGAF or the ESO forums, both of which will be linked in the description below this video, they are pretty much packed with complaints from people who can't get into the game. And of some of those who do manage to log in, some of them are even being booted from the game, so they finally get in, oh great, I can finally play, oh no, I've been booted. And it's even happened to various people trying to review the game, and... There's even an image floating around which basically says login failed, an unexpected internal error has occurred, please contact customer service, which is not exactly what you want to be seeing. And obviously this had to be absolutely infuriating for anybody who not only has been waiting god knows how long for this game to actually come out as it has actually been delayed at least a couple of times if I remember correctly, they also obviously stayed up late to actually sit down and finally have a bit of a blast on this game before they went to bed and now of course they cannot and it's been in beta various stages of it as well for quite a while so you would have thought that Zenimax would have prepared for such a huge influx of players but unfortunately while they probably prepared it seems their preparations were not enough however Bethesda has acknowledged the issue saying that a fix is in the works and there has not been an official update on their Twitter just yet, which is where they made that post. Of course, I will update you as soon as a fix or statement or whatever actually becomes public. And, well, the problem is, while they did have quite a lengthy beta period, people are criticising them for the lack of a proper stress test. And obviously that lack has come to bite them in the arse because everyone's obviously dogpiled onto the game as it launched at midnight and, well, this is the result. And yes, problems with MMOs, logging in, lag, you know, waiting long times, that sort of thing, um, that's kind of standard for an MMO because obviously it's an online game, the server's obviously going to be under a lot of strain, especially in the first few days, but it shouldn't be literally you cannot play it. Obviously some people are not having any problems, this isn't everybody ever, but it's still an alarmingly large number if you take a look at the ESO and NeoGAF forums discussing this. You know, at best with an MMO launch, you kind of want to have some minor problems, but nothing game-breaking. And obviously this qualifies very much as game-breaking, so hopefully they figure out the issue. I uh, don't know how long it's going to take them. Hopefully not more than a couple of days, as of course this has already taken an obscene amount of time to actually be released. And people are understandably not happy that they've paid 60 bucks or whatever for a game, and it just doesn't work. And you can say, yeah, but that's kind of standard these days. That's not a good thing. That doesn't make it okay. That's kind of bad, to be honest. That it's kind of standard now that you just don't buy a game on launch. Imagine if you went to go see a new film. Like, I don't know, when Jurassic World or something, when that's out in a couple of days, at least here in the UK. Imagine if you went to that and it didn't work. Like the projector set on fire or something. Oh, that's standard. You can't see a movie in the first couple of days. You see how silly that sounds. So... I don't know, it's just, the whole thing is just... That's the only sound I have to describe it, to be honest. Anyway, that's me done for this video. Hope you've enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.